Today we are hooking up our uh, Airstream to our car. So the first thing is you'll need to get your crank. And you'll put the crank on like that. You want to crank this to get the, this part of the Airstream to be, get as high as the ball. So you want it a little higher actually so you can hook it in to your Airstream in a few more steps. Okay, so you would just want to crank it. Uh, yeah. Keep cranking it. It can get a little hard at times. Crank it. Then you want to see. Do you think I could fit it in here? Maybe like a little higher. I'd say this is good. Okay, so the next step is you want to back up, back it up until you get in the right spot. Stop, back up a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That's good, right there. Okay, so once you have it in, you're gonna want to crank it down. To it gets, you're gonna want to keep cranking it until this thing co is coming up. Okay, the next step you'll do, we usually have a wooden plank under to hold it up, so you're gonna want to take this and move it out of the way. So you want, you see, you want to take these up. Uh, uh, carabiners or whatever they are you want to cross them and they hook up right here and then oh look see look it's touching the ground when you do when you see that you can just take one off and spin it to get it and maybe you could do the other one too if it's still low you want to spin it and look it's higher off the ground, so I won't be scraping. Okay, our trailer is really pretty fancy. We have this extra carabiner just in case the other uh, uh, carabiners get unhooked. So we take this one and we just put it right by the other one. It would activate the emergency brakes on the system, stopping the trailer from going down the road. And it hooks on pretty well. Okay. The next thing that you'll need, there should be an electrical cord like this. And take this, there should be a little hatch right here where you can just pop it up. Where you can connect it in pretty well. Just to make sure, give it a little tug to keep make sure it's in, okay? This is the last part. So you should have this right by the ball where it's connected to your car. So. If, just, if this is in, you can just take it out, put it over on the side. All right, so after you put this the thing to the side, you take this one and push it down and latch it in. And then take the uh, little thing on the side and you just want to put it through here and hook it up like that so it can't come loose. Just in case, if you can remove your handle, make sure to remove it so it won't fly off mid-car ride. Next thing you want to do is you want to check your lights. Left! See, now you can see that the left light's on. Brakes! Now look, brakes are on. Okay, right! Running. Next, you're gonna need to take out the chucks. You just, if you have a rope, then you can just take out the rope. And you just pull it out. Next thing is you need to take out any leveling stuff that will help level out your airstream. Pull forward. Stop. And then you can just take it out. Well, that's how you hook up an airstream, people. Load her up, boys. Okay, first thing 
to do when you're disconnecting an Airstream. You have to go basically in opposite order. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your chuck in. You don't want your Airstream rolling away while you're asleep, right? So make sure those are in nice and tight. The second thing you need to do, so you want to have like your wood, a wooden plank or something else to hold this down. Um, to so now we're gonna so you're gonna get your hand off and you're gonna wanna uh, lower your jack so it's watch out, sneeze and things in the way. Once it's snug, you wanna disconnect it from the car. Okay, so we're just gonna need to do it the same thing. First, we got it. we're gonna get the safety hatch. Get that. Put that back over there. And get your hooks. Gonna go under and hang those somewhere. Get your other one. Bring it over. Put those over there. And then you're just gonna wanna unplug that. Put that somewhere so it doesn't fall off. And that, that was the next step. Okay, so you're gonna just need to take this off like we did in the last video. Put that to the side, and then you just put this in here so you don't lose it. And then, so we're going to start jacking it up. Sometimes it can, at the end it can get a little tricky, so you always got to have your poker face on. There it goes, it's disconnected. Don't forget to take this off because you don't want somebody coming in at night and stealing it. That's how you disconnect an airstream. We got her back, boys.